Well, hello folks and welcome to Channel MMD and it's a beautiful day. Today we are out for our first post lockdown ride. So, why don't you come and join us? It was our first ride after lockdown, so we weren't planning on going far, just an hour or two, taking in the local villages of Silverstone and Stowe. But to be honest, the weather was so lovely, it didn't really matter where we were going. Super Sausage Cafe, voted many times Britain's best biker cafe. Ordinarily, that's where we would pull in for some bacon and eggs and a cup of tea. But sadly, not today. We arrived at Silverstone and even though we knew that it was going to be closed up I'd seen that there was a little cafe that had some wooden benches outside so even though the cafe was shut we were hoping that at least we could get access to the benches sit out in the sun and have a drink close as we can get to Silverstone. Nothing's happening. The cafes are open, everything's shut. But we're here and it's sun shining.
So here we are folks. First run out, Freedom Rum for MMD. And right now it's the what's the day today? 20th. 20th of May, beautiful day, but we are on the outskirts of or in the car park of Silverstone, and nothing is open, obviously. But right now, where should we be? We should be in the Loire Valley, doing three weeks in France. But hey, -ho. Silverstone in the sunshine. Three weeks in France, touring around the beautiful chateau, drinking fine wine um, in this kind of weather. Trying to get the drone up and realised I was in some kind of official airspace and not allowed to fly. So this is as close as we're getting to Silverstone today. See, over there, I can hear the roar of some engines, so they're doing some kind of testing. But I've got to say, it's a beautiful day. We're going to swing by the beautiful Stowe School. Not that we can get in there, but the building is magnificent. Anyway, hopefully soon we'll do a proper tour. But in the meantime, we're going to sign out from Silverstone and maybe sign back in at Stowe. See you later. Sadly, when we arrived, the gates to the landscape gardens at Stowe School were also closed, which is only to be expected, I guess, but it's a shame because it's a beautiful place. The school itself was an independent school that actually opened in 1923 with only 99 pupils, and the landscape gardens are magnificent and have been used as a backdrop for films such as Stardust, Tomorrow Never Dies, Vanity Fair, Inspector Morse and countless others. jail in Buckingham was built in 1748 and apparently three people died in the jail. One prisoner escaped over the wall and another walked out when the jailer went home and forgot to lock the door. It's reputed to be haunted and paranormal investigators are regular visitors. So that was Buckingham folks and now we're on the homeward leg of our short post lockdown ride. And it frankly didn't matter where we were going to go, what we were going to do, it was just fantastic to be on two wheels again. It seems like an awful long time being away from biking for 10 weeks. But while we've been on lockdown, I've busied myself, apart from uploading some of my Pan American videos, I've also been catching up with other motor vloggers that we've been really impressed with. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, and some in particular are all my favourites, people like Richard Vida and his three week trip across America. That was a brilliant series. 
And if you're particularly like motor vloggers who do big overland trips, then currently the best of the bunch has got to be Itchy Boots. Her stuff is brilliant. Currently, she was riding from Argentina to Alaska, obviously curtailed now. Anyway, she's well worth a look, really entertaining. And if you're a couple who ride, particularly if you're a couple with a pillion, then you might find uh, Darren and Wendy interesting, aka Love, Life and Triumph. I've been really enjoying the daily vlogs and uh, recently their podcast, so they're well worth checking out. Really nice, down-to-earth couple. So that was it. That was the first time we've been out on the bike since lockdown. And um, boy, was it great to get back out on the bike. I thought perhaps initially I might feel a little bit rusty. Um, you guys might feel the same, particularly if you've not long passed your test. But actually it was brilliant. The roads were clear, unlike what you're seeing on the TV at the moment. Um, and whilst the place that we went to were pretty much closed down, um, wasn't it great? To get back yeah, it was out fantastic, there. fantastic. Ten weeks, we've been itching like all you have to get back on our bikes, and we picked a brilliant day for it. It's beautiful weather. Okay, it's things we shut, but you know we had a, a two-hour bimble around, and it was great. Yeah. But the way we've got through it is we've created a routine. A, a routine. You've got to have a routine to do things, otherwise every day feels like a Sunday. Like most people, you know, we've got, we have no work coming in. That was stopped quite a long time ago, but we filled our time productively we think so we get up in the morning at breakfast then we walk uh, Bailey or Labrador for three and a half miles through the countryside you know to keep fit I come back and I spend my time finally getting around to uploading editing my footage from my Alaska to Argentina trip which I did 10 years ago which I've just completed but some of us have been even far more creative in the use of the time haven't they? <laughs> well I have some of us have been writing the novel that we started two years ago and, it's a um, novel. It's a best-selling novel <laughs> in the making. It's a best-selling novel in the making, and it's um, it's been a real joy to write it. It's been really fun, and um, it's got a bit of biking. Uh, they say write about what you know, so um, it's got a lot of kind of um, bits of people that I've met along the way. Um, some of you won't know I'm a trained clinical hypnotherapist, so it's got a bit of all sorts of surprising things in it and things that will make you think. And a lot for in bikers. Um, yeah, and it's it's also features uncannily uh, some bloke doing the Pan American Highway. But nevertheless, what we're hoping is the completion of the book dovetails with the finish of lockdown, so that we you know we can sell squillions of books, so we can retire and then do what we really want to do, which is uh, make videos for you lot and ride our bikes and you know run the MMD channel. But what I want to know about is what have you guys been doing during lockdown? Yeah. Yeah, so what have you been doing? That was and, our routine. And, and where been? are your trips? Where are the first places you've gone to when but, you've been able to get back on the bike? Exactly, because what we should be doing right now, what we would have been doing right now without lockdown, is we'd be in the Loire Valley Loire in Valley. France. We'd be halfway through a trip, which we'd plan to do, get the ferry to, uh, to Calais, ride down to Loire Valley and tra travel around the chateau, as we mentioned before, sampling some fantastic wines, coming back up probably via Dieppe or Cherbourg back to Portsmouth or Plymouth. A, a two-week trip, that's what we should have been doing. That's now on the back burner. I'm not in a rush to go though, are you? No, I know. Well, what we've decided, what we've thought about is this country of ours is magnificent and everybody's doing staycations now. So as soon as we can, what we're planning to do is doing some trips around 
Britain. Oh, wait. Where was yep. it going to go in? North Yorkshire Moors. We're going to do York, the Yorkshire Dales and North York Moors. We've done John O'Groats. We did We Scotland. need to do Land's End. Yeah, we did Scotland last year, so logically. Uh, it would be great to get down to uh, Devon and Cornwall and do Land's End while we're doing it. And more of the Cotswolds. But more of the Cotswolds, more of Wales. But what we're really interested in, in knowing is, uh, of the places we haven't been, or even places we have been, you haven't explored everywhere, it would welcome some suggestions from you, some great biking trips, great riping roads, anywhere in Britain that you think is worth visiting because I don't think a lot of people are going to go abroad anytime soon, to be honest. Um, you know, if we have weather like this, we're more than happy to stay in Britain. So, comments below, please. We welcome your ideas. So, as soon as we do go out anywhere else, we'll be putting it on the channel and making some suggestions about the places that we've seen and liked and the places that we haven't yeah yeah so which will be great and we value your suggestions as well yeah we can't wait to get the mmd channel back of a running to do what it was intended to do which was you know a couple riding bikes exploring great places staying in great places drinking good beer and wine having nice food and sharing it with everybody else so until that happens and hopefully it'll be coming soon in the meantime stay safe stay upright Take care. Cheers. Cheers.